Hi guys. We're gonna test the KTM Expo. And in the meanwhile, we're gonna make a setup for a race department club event for tomorrow. It's Zandvoort. It's lucky because I already have a setup because I did the competition. So I'm gonna share the competition setup. Okay, let's do some leaderboard. <coughs> KTM secret. Uh, it's Zandvoort National, I think. No, it's Zandvoort Club. Zandvoort Club, right? Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what's what. I really like the KTM, like it's uh, one of the few real wheel drive cars that I like. But to be competitive, it's like you are really on the edge of the car and it's very difficult to drive it. And uh, if you make a mistake, yeah, you get frustrated. But if you make a good lap, oh my god, yeah! Okay, car set up. Uh, I'm gonna load this one. And. Uh, yeah that's the setup this is the my default i think i'm gonna now leave it like that and uh, let's just turn off some laps <clears throat> okay You have to break after the white line. So kind of there, then coast, coast some more. Oh, baby! Oopsie. Like I don't, I don't like that. <coughs> I have like if I put the power down, I have understeer. No matter what I do to the setup. And. Oh shit! What the hell? Oh, okay. Let's drive it nice and clean. Like if you drive it slowish or you're not pushing 110%, the car is very easy. You can you cannot spin a lot, but if you're pushing, so after the white line. But if you're pushing a lot. The car will fight back. So tap of the brakes, coast, third coast, coast. Okay, here we are. Where's the track? You 
all of the crack. Try to push, and the car just understeers. Coast, 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 flat out. have any spins but if I try to like really push let's see this lap really pushing okay different camera because you guys always pick on me because I'm using single man holy fuck how can anyone see it from here okay okay let's see oh, okay too far back, need to see that mirror. Ooh. Can you look at the oh, that's awesome! Can you see the springs? Yeah, you, you, of course, you can see the springs. See what time I can make in this camera. Oh shit. Oh my god. So scary. camera Ok, 
skull, 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 skull. Okay, let's go to the garage to this car setup. Um, so I have understood what can I do. And so I have understood under acceleration at the exit of the corner. <coughs> Usually it's something with power and coast, but I cannot access that. So uh, maybe. I'm gonna put more toy in front. They are short traces, so tire wear should not be affected. And maybe raise the rear height, because if the car is like this and you raise the rear, it will be more weight on the front. So when it's more weight on the front, usually it has to kill the understeer, but yeah. And the uh, drive, let's use, ooh, I cannot use this camera, okay, let's try this one. works is like so awesome. I don't see the corner, so... Uh, <clears throat> okay. Uh, good exit, good exit. Let's see if I can get close to that lap. I'm gonna be a little bit earlier. So I have big the corner speed and flat up. So this is the KTM Expo or Crossbow Expo Crossbow.
if you're wondering what that's annoying song that's annoying sound that's my steering wheel Woo. the detail on the car at least from my personal opinion is really nice holy shit shut up so quick conclusion on the car I really like it as you can see and also the back suspension works a lot let's see the back suspension see that how it squats Except the GT3 cars, which the, I love the Bentley, but it's still a proper rear wheel drive car, and the NSU, but NSU doesn't count. Well, it counts, it's a rear wheel drive car. That's my favorite car. Like, I think I'm the fastest with that car, and many of my onla uh, online friends know about it. So, but close second to the NSU, this car, com this car comes, yeah. So this is a close second, but I look at the competition and I have a 39.8, which is 2.1 seconds from first plot, first spot, and I, I don't, I cannot go any faster than that. It's like my limit, and I don't understand how two seconds faster. It's for me, it's retarded. It's, I tried, they, I did, a, pff, I don't know, the 100 laps, 200 laps in the competition, and I don't know. I know that I'm slower in real wheel drive cars, like in some tracks in GT3, I have one second and a half, but over two seconds, it's kind of hard to accept, so. But if ESR does a championship, and I'm gonna put a link down below, uh, there are some guys that do the uh, USA time zone uh, championship and I just finished a few weeks back I finished a championship with them and if they do this car in, in the next championship it will be great but like I said in one comment <coughs> it's and I like I said earlier very fun car at club events where you're not so competitive well except me and but to have that ultimate pace and be like really 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 fast the car is like each time it's like on the edge you have like very little small 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 margin of error you're fast but at any given point the car will like okay it's gonna understeer wide or crash you or kill you or something and it will be very frustrating to to lose a race or some positions like that so I think maybe you have to dial it back a little bit like 95% and drive it at that level and expect for others to make mistakes like let's take that okay let's take this time one or 102.3 I'm sure I can go probably uh, 1017 so another 7 tenths maybe I don't know something like that but that 101 will be like ultimate pace so I'll be on the edge I cannot do a race like that because for sure I'm gonna make a mistake but if you're doing tools all the race or mid twos or high twos anywhere in the 102 you'll be safer like you see you saw here i can do steadily o twos and be safe you just like for 
you can have a huge enjoyment with the car at this level but you can have bigger enjoyment when you have a perfect lap but that enjoyment lasts very little because you'll have one good lap and five wrong so yeah I really like the car Rayson did a great job on, on it and uh, kinda it makes up a little bit for the a lot of bugs after the patch so hopefully we'll see it on the track on race department DSR or multiplayer events a lot uh, I'm gonna record the fastest lap also and uh, see you next time if I can stop the recording that is